2025 is here and the newest edition of the Key Success Planner for OneNote is ready for you guys. And we have a load of feature updates that are going to really help you get geared up for the coming year. So we're going to take a minute, we're going to unpack some of those updates and show you what they are. So first and foremost, one of the things you're going to see inside the system itself is we took the year out of view and updated the hyperlinks to include the weeks of the year. And we changed to a font that is going to be systematically available across Windows and Apple systems so that you can easily navigate between all the different pages in the planner. And this is available in our hyperlink edition. You simply can click on the hyperlink and it'll take you to the day. The second and probably the biggest update to the 2025 planner is we now have borderless pages. What do borderless pages allow us to do? We can access all this additional canvas that is in OneNote. So we can pull in to our different tiles that we have and we can copy a tile and take that tile and we can copy it and we can move into the individual days and we can go ahead and paste those tiles on the pages and expand our canvas to utilize a preference that's gonna work best for us when it comes to planning. Now what's even cool about that is I can customize these pages and I can click on these tiles that are already here and I can hold the shift key down and select all those tiles and copy those tiles and move from page to page and hit paste so that you can easily update each month in a matter of a few minutes. The other thing that's really big in 2025 is we took our goals page and we redesigned this page to focus on goals and we added a space for notes. We also took the goals page and redesigned it and we created it so it's capable of using tiles. Why is that so huge? Because you're gonna see this year, we're gonna introduce a goals tile. You can use any of the other tiles that you already have, such as the task tile from the essential pack to be able to track your goals, to be able to talk about your goals and reflect on them. There's gonna be a whole bunch of opportunities here to really help you get better ownership of each of the goals that you have for yourself. The one thing that so many of you guys wanted in 2024 and 2023 was to be able to have that weekly view in our planning system. While we took the weekly view, we have updated it to a new view that features our planning, our key focus for the week, and has our key task, and then a complete seven day week of our week at a view. And this is broke down into a half hour time blocks so that you have the ability to do that. And that's part of our weekly planning tools that's available across every single addition to our planner. And then the last notable thing that's really big in 2025 is we went ahead and looked at our ideal week. And we thought about how we had previously built our ideal week and how we could better build it for those that have a schedule that kind of changes. And we took that week out of view that we just showed you and we rebuilt the ideal week so that you could easily take the ideal week and copy and paste that into your weekly planning so that you can have consistency across your planner throughout the year. We built the vision board so you can help map out what that ideal week looks like, identify your key focus, and go through outlining what your routines are throughout the day and then indicate what your habits are and even a space for you to have better notes. As you develop routine for building better habits and organizing your schedule, it is essential that you make the most out of each day. I want you to consider the space that you are in. An organized workspace that meets your needs is just as important. I've been intrigued by standing desks for some time. How can they improve the way I work and how are they meaningful to my well-being? Recent studies indicate that employees spend about 62% of their day sitting. This is so bad for our health. But for a standing desk to work, it has to be functional and not impede on my workflow. It wasn't until I got a Flexbox desk that I could truly experience the benefits. To be frank, the ability to sit for a Zoom call, start a brainstorming session, or simply work through an email log has been refreshing. I chose the L-shaped desk because it gave me the flexibility to have my work in front of me and my planner beside me. Taking notes while on calls or updating my task list throughout the day is critical to my daily goals. When it comes to choosing your desk solution, there are so many options to consider. The website provides various color selections and size options. I've included the link in the description so you can browse for yourself. Now getting a desk and setting up is something that we all absolutely dread. I can say that directions were easy to follow and through the process, I came to respect the build quality. This also gave me the chance to add some accessories that I feel are important to my workflow 
configuration. The slide out keyboard allows me to keep my desk open for other gear or instruments I might need throughout the day. You may want to consider a monitor stand or drawer for yourself. Given my nature when it comes to organization, I chose to add a cable management tray and a desktop level power strip with USB ports that clamp onto the desk. As you think about your goals and vision for the coming year, step back and evaluate the space you are in. My own discovery was realizing how moving from a seated to a standing position throughout the day providing me with a refreshing change. And then being able to sit back down gave me clarity and focus as I dove into my next task. So these are some of the core changes in 2025. I'm really excited to get these out to you so you guys can get ready for 2025. And the tiles that are going to be introduced throughout the year are really going to help take this borderless canvas that we have and expand it. So if you're in the construction, real estate, professional industries, you have different service businesses or you're looking to build up projects or be able to integrate your sales processes into your planner, those tiles are going to be able to pull right into your daily pages and really give you that canvas to do so. So that is what is new in 2025. That is what's new for the OneNote planning system. And we're going to have additional videos showing you what's new in all the other apps like GoodNotes, Penly, Samsung Notes, and what's available on our newly designed e-ink tablets. Those are all coming and we're going to have some great features that are allow you to create integration between other apps as we start to look at what OneNote, Copilot, and Loop, and Teams can do for you. And if this interests you, we have a deep dive video that we've just released about how to get started on OneNote planning. I encourage you to take a minute, check that out. It's going to go through the entire OneNote application and give you all the fundamental features, all the enhanced features, and what you can expect from digital planning when it comes to using OneNote. So I encourage you to take a few minutes when this video is done check it out. If you learned one thing, if you're excited for 2025, if you're happy to use the 2025 Key to Success Planner and you want others to learn about it, by all means, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. That's going to help spread what we're doing for you to others. And that's really encouraging and really shows a lot of support. If you have any questions about this, any thoughts or any ideas, hit the comments myself or somebody in the community. I'm sure will reach out to you. And guys and gals, as we embark on this new year, I want it to be the best year ever. Take ownership of our professional planning tools, learn about our business builder, our organizational operating system, and building that one-page business plan so you have a complete framework for what it is you wish to achieve in this coming year. Godspeed.